Chris Hemming and Tusker are a couple that have been um, together for uh, a long time. It's a well-established relationship. They mean the world to each other. We find them on a trip in a, in a camper van, moving through the Lake District. As the story unfolds, we start to learn more and more about Tusker's condition and the, and the effects that it has on both of them. Do you think I'm not scared, Tusker? Is that it? Do you think I don't spend every single moment thinking about how I'm going to cope when this gets worse? Every single hour, every single day since you got ill, that's all that's going around in my head, over and over and over. Am I strong enough? Can I do it? Can I live seeing you, not knowing what, what day it is, not knowing where we are, not knowing who I am? I know, I know. We had spoken as a team previously about hopefully being able to employ two actors to play those two roles that had a history together um, because it was an incredibly intimate film, obviously, um, and Stanley and Colin's relationship outside of the film is what makes the film, I think. You know, Stanley and I are very old friends. We did something together over 20, 20 years ago, and we stayed friends ever since. If you've known anybody for 20 years and you're, you're close, you'll have seen each other through all sorts of ups and downs, which are inevitable in 20 years. It's just one of those friendships that even if you go for a while without seeing each other, the next moment, the next time you see each other, you feel like no time has passed at all. I think one of the things that I'm always most impressed by with Stanley, with his work, is that he, he has the ability to be so like openly and naturally kind of gregarious and funny. Um, and when playing a role like this, that was essential because, you know, here you've got a, a dying man who is still like keenly aware of the fun of life. And Stan just does that so naturally. Stanley is playing a man who wants to be well. He is playing a man who wants to be in control. He's playing a man who wants to have choices and manage his reality. He's not playing a man who's in despair, uh, feels he's falling apart. He, he, I feel he, he found that uh, within himself. Well, it's not about me, but is it's about us. No, but that's not fair to you, and I won't let you. Yes, but I want to. I want no. to do this. No. Nope. No, I want to be nope. with you. I want to be with you every moment. Shh. Colin, every role that he inhabits, Colin, is like, is so kind of steeped in this kind of, in compassion and empathy. Um, and what Sam really is, is that, you know, he's a person that is being asked to do a huge sacrifice for the person that he loves. And it is deeply involved with the notion of compassion. And I think like it, there's so much, there's such humanity in Colin's work always, no matter what he's playing. The key thing is, is making the, is having that connection between the two characters. And if the connection is real, then, then we'll go anywhere with them. And then when you have like one of your best friends playing that other person, as I said, you bring that, all that unspoken stuff, all the pain that you have both been through in your lives and shared with each other, it's all there. I mean, that's really what the movie is, love and loss and how we deal with it. <laughs> to Sam. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam. To Sam.